please come in and take a seat. My name is Matt, and I'd like to welcome you along to our luxury tasting consultation. Now, depending on whether or not this is your first time with us, well, allow me to explain the process. We understand you contacted us because you're hosting a medium-sized social gathering. Now, while we actively avoid any social engagement where we can, sometimes it's unavoidable. And in those cases, we like to make sure there is plentiful, endless amounts of delicious, gourmet, fast food. Now our tasting consultations take on a fairly simple premise. We have mirror image food placements. I'll take you around the table We'll sample food together. We can discuss flavor profiles. We can discuss needs, quantities for your social gathering. We'll take a note of everything that works for you, everything that doesn't, what you'd like more of. It'll be bundled up and made available to you for your party. Okay, so the idea here is to curate the perfect table setting to offer the richest, saltiest, most satisfying food for you and your guests. Okay, now I appreciate this is a lot. It is a lot. But we have time and lots of it. So I'd encourage you to sit back, get comfortable, and enjoy. I hope you're hungry. Okay, predominantly a fried chicken offering. This is our specialty. This is what we've refined and honed in more than 80 years of service. Okay. Here we have our fried chicken bucket. It's novel. It's quite entertaining and it's chocked full of fried chicken. You are going to Lux. It's her signature dish, very well known. And the company was founded by a colonel Harlan Sanders, way back in 1930. And this is a likeness of his face. Now, the bucket, iconic, delicious. The wicked zinger. with jalapenos and cheese. Our sauces for today. Flaming hot. Cheddar. And something uh, a little bit spicy that we'll get into later. Underpinned by our Mayonnaise. And of course, the gravy. I can smell the gravy without even opening the lid. It's beautiful. At the front, a veggie zinger. 
standard box of fries. The Firestorm Salsa Burger. Now this is going to get quite spicy later on. Entirely optional. If spice isn't your thing, we can skip past the salsa. The Box Master Tortilla Take on Fried Chicken. Our 500 milliliters Pepsi, full sugar, some bread rolls, a few cookies, and the twisted zinger. little bit of space. I think we'll leave the bucket here. But let's give ourselves some breathing room. Now you don't have to copy this setup that I decide upon. The loaded fries. Eating chicken with your fingers is messy. But as messy as it is, it's still nice to have fries drizzled in cheese sauce with a fork. So the fork is optional. But you noticed jalapenos, melted cheese, a little dash of paprika, really quite nice. And of course, a hotel that we will be reaching for quite a lot, I think. All right. As I said, there is a lot to get through, but Let's get started. I think we'll start with something of a classic for enthusiasts of our restaurant. Mm. loaded with flavor. Fries cooked to perfection. Historically, in the interest of full transparency, fries have maybe been a weak point of our brand. The chicken especially the Wicked Zinger, beyond perfect, but the fries were just a little bit behind, but no longer. Came here for some chicken. Let's eat some chicken. Now, secret ingredients. The chicken is coated 
in 11 different spices. Now the colonel says that two of these 11, salt and pepper, beautiful. The remaining nine, according to him at least, sit on everyone's shelf. The secret, he says, is the amounts used. Beautiful, 100% chicken. Mm. Absolutely. To your left, you'll see a glass, but feel free to drink straight from the bottle. Now, I don't tend to drink a lot of fizzy beverages. enjoying something. It should be enjoyed to its maximum. Now, <clears throat> take a few more bites of this chicken. Now again, please pace yourself. Some gravy. Mm, delicious. A very subtle mix. Pepper. <clears throat> A nice stock. A little bit uh, uncultured. But satisfying layer of almost a salt, but not too salty. But humans obviously have evolved to need salt and sugar and fat in their diet. That's why so many of us like salt. So that first wave of saltiness. Complemented by chicken that just slips off the bone. Delicious. Good. The reason we start with the box is because it sets um, a baseline level of expectations. If you don't like the first bites from the bucket, chances are the rest of the offering isn't for you. I've yet to meet someone who signed up for a culinary fried chicken tasting consultation who didn't like it, but it's important to establish these parameters. Okay, forgive me while I have uh, some more of these fries. Really, really great job. 
satisfying in a different way. the name would suggest. The zinger brings a, a spice, a chili-like element that coats the chicken. It doesn't completely overshadow, but it's prevalent. It's very, very enjoyable, warming. Now, it's not spicy burning. greasiness that is quite indulgent but connotations of fast food <clears throat> instead it's cleaner and with that underlying spice really one of my favorites to will sample I mean of course I love everything quite literally I think I'll have one more dunk of this with just a little bit of gravy yourself. Have fun. Mm. Absolutely. Heaven. The bun, the seated bun, that zinger spice, perfectly cooked chicken. The seasoning culminates in this perfect amalgamation of spice, the peppery moorishness of the gravy with the zinger in its patented sauce. I would very happily finish this, but we have a lot more to cover.
I have a family at home that's eagerly awaiting my return. Absolutely. Now entirely optional, but a cleanse of the palate, especially with something as commanding as the Wicked Zinger, is recommended. Maybe some fries. Introduce our secret sauce on the right. Has a little bit of a kick. Very, very light suggestion of a chili. dipping sauce. <clears throat> now, let's introduce you to our veggie singer. Now, of course, <clears throat> it might seem odd having a vegetarian option at a fried chicken establishment. But very likely one or more of your guests could be vegetarian. And we like to curate and cater for all. Okay. Now this is the original. No additional spice. <coughs> comes with a fresh tomato, fresh iceberg lettuce, to the vegetarian option. Hmm. It always surprises me. But we worked very hard on our vegetarian offering. That crunch underpinned by this full herb flavor. Really quite a wonderful. I'm glad you like it. It's made up of a variety of ingredients. All plant-based, of course. But we came to a soy base, layered in some spice. Really brought something to life. Something that broke the traditional or the expected bland vegetarian offering in a otherwise meat oriented environment. I'm glad you liked it. Perfect. You'll notice we went non-seated bun. For whatever reason we found that the sesame didn't complement the herb profile that we'd picked. If you try it with the sesame seeds it tastes not entirely different, but just not quite right. At least our interpretation of right. I really love these loaded fries. Mm. Now you may have noticed we had a couple of bread buns bread rolls. 
These can be used as you like. You could put fries in them if you wanted to. Personally, just nice. Give it some plain bread. Loaded in that peppery. Satisfying gravy. Now, if you want to be controversial, a little of the cheddar cheese sauce into the gravy. And what you have there is a taste sensation. My sister is not a fan of cheese or cheese sauce. But even she loves that particular taste sensation. Decadent and indulgent. So satisfying. Excellent. Okay. How about we try the box master? And this is a zinger, but something a little different. You can break the box, tear the lid off. Now, this is quite different for us. Tortilla wrap, which is unusual. And inside, iceberg lettuce, bottom layer. Fried crispy chicken. Layer two. Cheese. Layer three. Hash brown. Makes up level four. Another layer of cheese. Level five. Finish off with the tortilla wrap. Then you fold it over and take a bite. A rainbow of flavor. Mm. Perhaps the most unexpected. Of all the layering, it's the hash brown that hits first. In the best way, in my opinion. Let's just dunk that little corner into our gravy. And that And that is the Boxmaster. Beautiful modeling. So, so nice in the gravy. You'll notice the gravy pot is five times the size of a regular sauce pot. Now the Boxmaster 
like all of the burgers. It's customizable. You could add in pickle, jalapeno, tomato. You could even force in another chicken breast in there. But its stock offering is really, really quite magnificent. Well, our chicken was actually the product of a stroke of genius from the colonel. Frying chicken took the restaurant about 30 minutes to cook. And the colonel thought this was too long. Customers were having to wait and there was nothing fast foody about 30 minute waits. So what he did, he took the concept of a pressure cooker, essentially designed for vegetables, that kind of thing. And he repurposed the pressure cooker and created something that was called pressure fried chicken and it's not something that people really know about but our chicken is still cooked in a very similar way this pressure frying leads to such a unique flavor a unique consistency and more than any of that, a memorable and satisfying flavor. Absolutely. Yes, I will put you down for a full batch of the Boxmasters. It is actually becoming our most popular offering. Partly, I think, because it's a complete surprise. People don't expect to find a tortilla wrap around a hash brown, crispy fried chicken, lettuce, layers of cheese. And just this wonderful finish. Excellent. Now, I think it's about time we opened up our buttermilk garlic mayonnaise. I encourage you to take a little sniff. Now, if you're not a garlic fan, I can understand why that might be repulsive. But, let's take a little piece of uh, our bread and just lightly spatter. Nothing crazy. Competitors will offer garlic mayonnaise. No one offers buttermilk garlic mayonnaise. Again, it's something we pride ourselves in, that refinement of luxury. These sauces are reduced down to a fine, fine thickness. And the garlic is layered into the cooking process. And what you're left with is a wonderful velvet finish. It coats the mouth a little bit. Very pleasant. And it's all contained in a little tub of sauce. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, we'll return to that. I think we should brave Firestorm Salsa Burger. Now these are smaller. 
We typically refer to them as pocket rockets. Now, if you're not a fan of spice, consider sitting this one out. Because it actually has ghost pepper in it. Not just ghost pepper. Jalapeno. Three layers of cheese. Another hash brown. And of course the fried chicken breast. Enjoy. Mm. Decadence personified. You'll notice it's not as spicy as you thought. It's not uncomfortable. We like to warn people. Nobody should be uncomfortable in a luxury tasting experience. So we emphasize its heat to try and make sure people avoid putting themselves in an uncomfortable situation. But it's nowhere near as hot as it might suggest. What it is, however, is flavorful. Warming. Really, really so tasty. And the chicken here is actually cooked a little bit less. It's not quite as crispy. It's a softer bite. And the whole burger feels more like a melting experience. You're almost melting into this sea of gentle heat. I actually pitched them the sauna burger. I was knocked back. <clears throat> I'll make sure they're included. This does come with the sesame bun as an option. We serve it seedless. It will be my preference if I was you, but entirely up to you. Good. Okay. Wonderful. Absolutely. Hmm. Very, very tasty. While the Wicked Zinger is my favorite, that's a close second. Almost reluctant to cleanse the palate with my fries because it's such a nice feeling. Very pleasant mix of flavors. And again, not something you would typically associate with just fried chicken. But that's why we chose to move in the direction we move. And while always pushing the boundary for excellence. Our brand was actually the first Western fast food chain in history to open in China. Obviously at this point we sell globally from almost every country in the world and people love our food. We love that they love the food. We don't have too much more to go, don't worry.
this is a twister again with the tortilla now I don't want to spoil the surprise by opening it up take a bite and let me know how you get on There is a literal tidal wave of flavor that floods the mouth on your first bite. Yes? So what are you eating? Our patented buttermilk, garlic, mayonnaise, coats, heavily fried. Coated, a softened lettuce, not so crispy. Wrapped. simple ingredients. Five if you include the tortilla. But even the tortilla mm -hmm. a very new product. Wrapping everything in the melted cheese. An inspired idea. Because it leads to a different kind of flavor. And at its core, this is all fried chicken. But every single dish we've tasted was different. Of course, still chicken. But entire spectrum apart and that's kernel really very very tasty how are you doing Consider the bucket, the loaded fries, the wicked zinger double stack, the box master, the gravy, of course, the firestorm salsa burger. The veggie singer, the twister sandwich that we tried. And the thing is, there's a lot to like. And a lot to take in. Reaching for a little drumstick. back to the bucket after that little adventure it's almost like returning home so so tasty the finger looking good even mm. but
because while we absolutely specialize in pressure frying chicken, We also have an artisan baker. And you might not think to associate a cookie with fried chicken. And I can understand that. But I give to you the milk chunk chip cookie. This has to be tried to believe. It's softened. No crumbs. No mess. Just a comfort in sweetness. Also do a white chocolate variant of the cookie, but the milk chocolate, in my opinion, those milk chocolate chips lose a little bit of their significance if it's followed or it follows one of the white chocolate variants. So we don't include it in the typical lineup, but just know that. And make it available for your selection should you require okay <laughs> it's it is a lot and no decision is needed we've compiled a list of everything that um, you said yes to it literally everything but we understand what was the 11 out of 10s Against maybe what was only 10 out of 10. If you can, cookies included, what do you think your favorite of all the dishes would be? Interesting. I can see that. I'm very curious to know how your guests get on. I have absolute confidence they will love it. Be careful.
Fantastic host. <laughs>